Oh, hey, pallies. Welcome to day 77 of 100 Days of Making Comics, where I do at least 30 minutes, me, Gaz, bought my independent kaiju comic, The Horror A4, issue two. Now, music. Hey again, seconds for you, hours for me. It's later in the day, it's not super late. I think it's uh, two or three, something like that. I have not done any artwork yet today. I have still been doing other things. I had to go food shopping. Uh, I did have to mail, I, I had an Etsy sale, which was cool. Um, when I was at that show that you know didn't make me a lot of money, I sold one of my signed Green Ranger prints. So that was a nice little chunk of change that came in. Coincidentally, uh, at first I thought it was somebody I had seen at the show, but it was just a coincidence. And uh, so I had to send that out, and I also had to send out a few comics I sold, again, having nothing to do with the show, but just good timing. Uh, well, not good timing. I mean, it's any time I sell a comic is a good time. But anyway, I had to pack those up, sell them, etc. Uh, and then I had to just go to the bank and uh, go pick up a prescription and go shopping for food for dinner tonight, etc., etc., etc. I'm going to, after I get off the floor, I'm going to sit at my desk. The th two things I'm going to, well, I have three things, the three most prominent things. By 30 minutes, of course, I've got to finalize the standee art because I got it, all the art done and it was a print. I made the print, but I need to adjust it a bit to be the standee before I send it to them. And I need to do that. And I have a couple commissions, one of which has to be done by the end of this week. Uh, and so I will probably at the very least start that today. So, yes, I'm a floor gaz. And uh, yeah. So here I am at the art desk. I have not done any work. Look at this guy. He's a little bit slanted, but this is Jan, Janimal, one of the 100s who has completed the 100 days and is continuing to go on with his comic, uh, Phosphor, I believe is how you pronounce it, uh, sort of space alien sci-fi thing. I've mentioned him before and I've mentioned his videos are worth watching, and they are! Now, what's going on here? What's going on here is I'm feeling bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm constantly behind on everyone's videos, and again, I've said that's a good problem to have because there's so much great content. Um, but some people I'm able to keep up with more than others, and honestly, the people who do a lot of talking and less showing or have a lot of, uh, you know, voiceover work, because I, I watch most of the videos while I'm working. I'm not really looking. I might glance up to quick see something. Jan is one of the people who I followed, I still follow, but I've fallen further behind than a lot of other people because he uh, is in Barcelona and before that he was in um, uh, England <laughs> I think so but anyway the point is he is in all these countries which are foreign to me in the US with all this great architecture and a lot of his videos are like look at all this crazy stuff here's an adventure I'm going on and I have a hard time watching them while I'm working because either I'm missing everything good or I have a pen in my hand and I'm like and a half hour has gone by and I haven't done anything so his stuff was really good when I was, I, I put it on the TV and I'm in the living room cleaning or building something because I'm then I'm watching TV, you know, as opposed to watching on the computer. Anyway, why am I mentioning all this aside from the fact that, you know, mentioning him because check him out. Uh, I somehow, in my missing videos, I never watched his 100th day, like, like, which is past now, he succeeded. But his 100th day, I somehow missed that video. And when I was going back, I was going to start watching some of his newer stuff and I said, oh man, I never actually watched this one somehow. I congratulated him, but I just never watched the video. So I started watching it. And a few minutes in, he's like, oh, here's the Horror A4, hold up my comic. And then he just did a whole bunch of really nice stuff about it. So, Jan, if you're watching this, thank you. And I'm sorry that I'm thanking you now so much later. Um, but let it be known, part of the reason I don't keep up on your videos as much as others is because I want to really be able to watch them. So, take that as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> so, watch Jan, and Jan, thank you. It's like he's talking because right to me. Make things a lot easier. Right. Yes. The coloring part. It's a whole, yeah, it's a whole other thing. You know, like you, you tend to lean less on special effects in black and white. You got it, man. And, um, Here's a sign you're not a true adult. I accidentally splashed some water on that hot thing, and then I kept doing it, because look. Ooh, it sizzles right off. Yeah. Give me some more. Sizzle for me, baby. Yeah. And that's just one more indicator that I am not fully functional as man. All right, so other than house chores and out of house chores and housekeeping and keep thinging, keep thinging. Uh, once I finally sat down, the main thing I did today was turn the artwork, which I had previously created uh, for the standee into standee artwork. What I mean by that is it was created primarily for the standee, but I formatted it to be a print uh, and I added more background details and things like that. So to make it a standee, the, the main thing is I need to cut out part of the background, but I also, I didn't build the standee 
and then add on to it, turning it into a print. I sort of built the print and then cut away to be a standee. So there were some decisions to be made. Uh, I'll show you what the difference is right now. So here on the left is the print image. The two main differences are it cuts off a little bit sooner and it has all this background. Now it has the purple and it has the lines, but it also has a lot more blast and, and fire, things like that. That's just all encompassing the whole background because I want to fill the negative space, give it a lot of impact. However, for the standee, which is right here, uh, you can see all this black is going to be cut off. So all the extra things that fly off are gone, but I also removed the whole background completely. Now when I first designed the standee, this is kind of what I had in mind, and when I made it the print, it looked weird, and so I add all that extra stuff on, which made it a more complete image. But as a standee, this will be fine because it's the horror standing amidst the smoking, firing runes, but this will all be cut out, so you'll just, the fire and the city will outline it, and then his head will be sticking out the top. Had a little bit of trouble here because I want energy to be coming off his face. Now I haven't heard back from them. Hopefully they can cut it that fine. If not, I'll have to reevaluate, but this is what I sent them, and unless they tell me it's a problem, uh, uh, that's what it's going to be. I've zoomed out a bit and you can see here, this is about where the girder is and that's where it cuts off in the print. But in the standee, there's more to give it more stability and more a sense of scale. So I was thinking if it's behind the table, a lot of this will be covered up or somebody standing in front of it so that, you know, hopefully it'll still be, and this will be about seven feet tall theoretically when it's done. In addition, I've also put the print version, which I took to the show. I now have it up on my Etsy store. So if that interested you, you can get it there for a mere $10, plus $5 shipping and handling. Commercial! Um, what else? Well, um, I am a sketch card. What's that? A sketch card? Yes, a sketch card. Uh, ironically, you may notice that my headphones just disappeared. I needed to give them to someone else for charity. You know, uh, Q's using them. But let me show you this. What is this? It's a Gazbot cartoonified sketch card with headphones. Done by the notorious LB3, also known as, well, I'll just leave it at that in case that's what he wants his art name to be. This is Instagram, so you could follow him right here. I'll put the link below. Uh, and he's been doing sketch cards one a day for a year. Is it a leap year? Because it's 366. I guess it's a leap year. Anyway, I'm coming somewhere between some firefighters and Obi-Wan Kenobi, so I'm in good company. And thank you, sir, for this cartoonifying immortality that is now me next to a Copic. I just hope it's not one of those things that, you know, I'm forever associated with the red Copic marker and I go out in the public to promote my book or, you know, just to get a cup of coffee and everyone's like, hey, where's red Copic? Hey, have you seen red Copic lately? Hey, guys bought in red Copic, ha ha ha, you know. But we'll deal with that if it happens. And, you know, I'd always work with red Copic again, even if it did, because, you know, they're, they're a good hue and they flow well. They are quite the rapper. 30 minutes complete! Here's what we got going on. Uh, I did the background for this panel. As I said, it's a lot of dialogue, a lot of talking heads, but I don't want it to be no background. So I want to set up the orientation of where they are in the room and remind everyone that they are still in the room. So I did the background here. I also adjusted his head a little bit, put the sh shading in. Uh, while I was doing that, I accidentally erased half of this background design I had done down here, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of like, like it's an accident, but I think I'm going to leave it. And uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this was a pain in the butt to get to figure out the background and it's still probably not exactly right but it is good enough and it is not great but finished is better than great and and great is the enemy of good so yeah whatever done haha <laughs> so today's been decent good i mean i got i got some artwork done at least beyond my 30 minutes and uh, i got a lot of things accomplished but i still have a lot on my to-do list that isn't art related and i still have some commissions i need to get to that uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I've just been, I, I haven't been dragging my feet. I haven't been lazy. I've just been slower. I mean, um, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, it's not too late. I might do some more work, but I'm going to stop now, edit this video, get this part of it done so that I don't have to worry about anything if I do get tired later. As you can tell, my voice is still, I feel like I've been perpetually having a slightly sore throat for like weeks because it gets strained and I lose it almost, but then it comes back and then right around the time it's mostly healed. I have another show or something. So that's where I'm at today. Uh, today is what? Day 77? I don't know. Let me check YouTube. It is day 77. Mined like a steel trap, broken, rusty, and underwater, but still pretty good. And I'm going to end on that note, the note of day 77. And if today is the note of day 77, well, then that means we've got 23 days left.
There's music outside. You probably can't hear it. it this would not be weird if you could hear the music, though, I assure you. What did you say? Motoneta. 